wassers. Bibi Shakan makes line after line of clay bricks, which she sells in local bazaars. She's 40 years old, but she's been a widow ever since her husband was killed by a landmine 10 years ago. And this is how she feeds her family. She's one of more than a thousand Afghan widows and their children who have broken taboos by forming a unique community where they work for a living and live independently rather than remarrying. We've built this community under immense difficulty. We carried water and mud up the hill until we fell sick. We built our homes with our bare hands so our children could have a roof to sleep under at night. The community is based on top of a steep hill in Kabul. For the past decade, women have converged here and built by hand their mud brick houses on a slope above the cemetery. Ray's girl, a 32-year-old widow, lives here with her two young children. Her husband was killed when a rocket landed on their home in a village near Kabul. She wandered for several years before finding refuge here. But she says life is not easy. There is nothing to eat in this house. We are struggling to live here without help. I buy dried pepper, which my children eat with bread. Reyes girl, like the other women, receives just $150 a year from the government, plus rations of rice and cooking oil. She says Afghan widows deserve better. We want the government to help us so we can get out of this misery. We widows don't have permanent homes. We are wandering from place to place in order to survive. When the women first came here, it was mainly uninhabited, save for gangs of feral dogs. Police soon began harassing the women and leveling the homes they built on the government land. Their small mud dwellings are illegal and under constant threat of demolition. But the women are determined to stay. During the night, wild dogs would circle us. When we first arrived here, we slept on the ground. We would stay awake while our children slept. We were scared the dogs would take them. We've built this community with enormous effort, and we're not leaving. As she boils the water for tea, Reyeskul also says she has nowhere else to go. Afghanistan offers little to its estimated two million widows. But those on Women's Hill have forged a community of sisters, bound together by shared adversity.